My name is Ken Buck and I'm a solution architect for Elitech. This video will show you how to configure an Elitech card reader using the App Blaster tool. We will show you how to decode the card's raw data so you can extract the number which is typically written on the back of an RFID card. To configure the card reader we will need three items. A sample customer employee badge, preferably more than one of them, to minimize future surprises a TWN4 multi-technology card reader, preferably the one from the Alitech Tech Tracer Kit, and the Alitech App Blaster application. The App Blaster application is contained within the TWN4 Software Development Kit. A link to the SDK is available from Alitech support. Their contact information is available at the end of this presentation. The first step is to download the TWN4 development pack to your desktop and to unzip it. Ensure a TWN4 multi-technology reader is plugged into your laptop. If your computer is having problems locating the USB driver for the card reader, just point it to the driver's directory. Let's begin to determine what type of card or cards the customer has. We will use the App Blaster tool to configure the reader for tech tracer mode which will analyze the cards presented. Locate the App Blaster application from within the TWN4 development pack and double click to open it. App Blaster opens to the Handle Project tab. From the top row of tabs, select Program Apps and Firmware Images. Then select Image. Navigate to the TWN4 development pack firmware folder where the Tech Tracer application is stored. Select the file, then select Open. Now select Program Image, and App Blaster will install the file onto the reader. If this is the first time App Blaster is being run on this PC, some error messages may be displayed in the status window. Often this occurs because not all the USB drivers have been installed. This can be observed by looking for a driver status update in the Windows toolbar. Once the driver has been installed, select Program Image a second time and wait for it to indicate a successful upgrade. When you hear the card reader beep, as we did earlier, the upgrade is complete. Next, we will open up Microsoft Notepad so we can see the output from the card reader. You can also use Microsoft Word, WordPad, or your favorite text viewer program. Let's swipe two test cards to analyze them. Note that the first card is an HID Prox card with a 26-bit number, and that the second card is a dual HID Prox and iClass card. The default programming for the TWN4 reader is to detect a large number of cards. In this instance, reading both the HID Prox and HID iClass numbers would confuse the authentication server. For this example, let's configure the reader to only detect the HID Prox card and to ignore all other cards. The decoding procedure I will show you can be used on any card with any bit length. Assume the customer wants the card to return the five-digit number written on the back of the card. The second card scanned produced the hex number 020BFA and has the number 01533 written on the back. Now let's figure out how to configure the reader to turn 020BFA into 01533. Open up Microsoft Calculator and select Programmer Mode. Note we will be working with the hex number of 020BFA and we're trying to get it to match 1533. So let's cut and paste 020BFA and paste it into the Microsoft Calculator window. Now we convert that number to binary and we cut and paste the binary back into Notepad. Now this should be a 26-bit number. Let's make sure. Twenty-six bits. We go back to calculator, decimal mode, and we key in the number 01533. Convert that back to binary, 
cut and paste. And now we slide that number over until it lines up. In this case, it's really easy, and we slide it almost to the end. Often the number lines up somewhere in the middle. This suggests we start decoding at bit 15 and that we capture 11 digits, but that isn't quite accurate. You'll notice there's a bunch of leading zeros ahead of this. From experience, we know that 26-bit HID cards are decoded starting at bit 9 and going for 16 bits. If you encounter HID prox cards with any other length of data, please contact Alatech support and we will provide you with the decoding. Let's go back to App Blaster. Select the Handle Project tab. It opens to the Manage Project tab. Select the pull down next to Project Template. Select the Firmware Core Module Keyboard application. Select Start a Project, which can be configured with App Blaster. Then select Start New Project. On the left side of the screen, under Search for LF Tags, select HID Prox. Under Accept an ID Link, select 26 bits, which matches the data length discovered by Tech Tracer. On the lower left, under Output Bits, select Some Bits, then enter bit 9 as the first bit, and 16 as the number of bits. Under Output Format, select Decimal and 5 is the number of digits. Now select Blast and the App Blaster will configure the reader with these specifications. When you hear the beep, the reader is programmed and ready to go. Now let's go back to Notepad and once again swipe our test cards. Note that the output is now displaying a 5 digit number in decimal format. This matches our initial specification. If leading zeros are not desired, let's go back to App Blaster and change the number of output bits to zero and select Blast one more time. When you hear the beep, the reader is programmed and ready to go. Let's go back to Notepad and once again swipe our test cards. Now the leading zeros have been removed. At this point, the reader is programmed and ready to be installed in the customer's MFP. Thank you for watching and listening to this presentation. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to contact us via phone or email. Shown here is our contact information for the U.S. and for the rest of the world. Also shown is our email addresses for any support questions you may have. Thanks again for watching.